here. Alright, what kind of luck will I get in this one? Hey Sparky, good luck man, you playing in this one bud? I'll try to leave you some fish there, Sparky. At least there's a trophy. Maybe. Should be. Got him. Alright. Part of me wants to... I'm going to do it this time. Part of me wants to just switch already. Just because I don't trust the medium spoon up here.
Yeah, I appreciate it, Bergy. Good luck, man. Hope the uh, fish and RNG fairies are with you today, buddy. I'm going to try a spinner up here for a little bit. Seems like the medium spin up here just does not give me any luck. So it's going to be this or the nips, one of the two. They wasn't with you at the uh, Everglades. <laughs> yeah, we know how it goes, man. What was you playing? The uh, Fly Like a Butterfly or whatever it is? Normally I wouldn't be on right now. I got rained out at work, so I figured I'd play in a couple of them. Oh, come on. Maybe I should have stayed with the medium spoon. Bam's already leaving. Bam, why are you leaving already? Leaved, joined. Let's see what happens. So he leaves, joins, instantly gets a trophy, and then a uni. Please be a trophy. All right, one more trophy here. Maybe I should have went right to the nymph after this. sure that's a common. Oh, that was a trophy? What the hell?
I'm trying, Josh. Comes the Chinook. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, the Chinook should be gone. Or are they just getting started? I was hoping I got lucky there, boys. All right, Chris, how you doing, buddy? Started out hot, but uh, going downhill now. Well, I wish you could adjust your, uh, you got 45 pounder. Awesome, man. Good stuff. Hey, Keith. How you doing, buddy? Where's my trophy? Not even a bite? I should have two trophies.
Come on. Did I buy this thing? Chinook though. Hey, it worked. The hell? Damn, Tom's on fire. Damn, Tom. the spot treatment card. Probably not. Nice of you to miss it.
Maybe. Nope. Let's try with the larva. Oh, hell, Charger's playing even. It's got to be him, right? All right, one more. Just the ones I'm going for, Chris. Nothing extraordinary. It's a hard comp to explain, and I'm trying to focus right now. Basically, you're just. There's a system to this one. I did finally get my perfect sockeye score. There we go. I've changed lures a ton of times. Alright, let me try. I'm actually going to use. Where the, oh my god, I thought I forgot my. Tropicana. Alright, let's see if I can. See if I can get something now, fellas. Hey, SG, how you doing, bro? I finally had got on my sockeye, so we'll see if the uh, Chinook and the Coho will do anything for me. Bam, how many times are you going to leave and join? You did it twice already. You going to do it until you get the bite rate you want, bro? I'm going to start calling you out on that every time I'm in a lobby with you. You've left twice already. Comes right back in and gets a trophy. All doing okay other than Bam Bam be scamming again. Morning, North. How you doing, buddy? <sighs> yeah, we had another. We've had seven inches of rain in maybe 36 hours. Unreal. Yeah, I got to go back later and check on some stuff. But, yep.
That's what I got. The uni Chinook left and the uni Coho. Yeah, pretty much like a sponge there, North. That, and we're starting to get uh, anthracnose and uh, black algae, so it's not necessarily a good thing. It's great for the rough, not not so much for the uh, fairways. All right, it's not so much for the uh, the greens. This causes causes me to spend more money on fungicide. That's the way your shots did. <laughs> That's funny. Let's just put it this way. Not getting much roll out there right now. I actually have to close the course. That's why I got to go back up later to see if the uh, water's receding enough to let let people go out and play. Cart paths only, of course. Hey, Bam, you can see your way right off my channel. I see what you're doing. You leave, you join, you leave, you join, you leave, you join. I can talk all I want to talk. If you don't like it, see your way off my channel. And I'm going to be watching every time I'm in a lobby with you. When you leave and join, leave and join, leave and join until you get the bite rate you want. There's nothing legit about that, man. Take your losses like everybody else does. Keep living on Denial Island, Bam. You trying to manipulate your bite rate by leaving an X amount of times? Hey, Bam, there's no sense you coming on and, and, and cussing on my channel now, is there either? You don't even have to watch my channel. And when I see that stuff, when you're leaving and joining and leaving and joining and leaving and joining, I'm going to say something. 
It's more than suspect. More than suspect. I'm not the only one that complains about you doing that all the time, Bam. Just so that you know. You can't just log into the game and play it? And now you're on my channel? Get off my channel. Well, pull that on somebody else, bro. And now it's documented what you're doing. Whether it's against the rules or not, it's not good sportsmanship. I can tell you that. And I'm just sitting there trying to have fun on the game. But when I look down in the lobby and anytime anybody's in the lobby with you, if you're not getting doing good, you leave, come back, leave, come back, leave, come back, catch a unit, catch a trophy, leave, come back, leave, come back. Sad part is, Bam's a great player. I don't think you have to sit and manipulate the, the bite mechanics or whatever the hell you're doing, leaving and joining, leaving and joining 10 times a match. Oh, I mean, he's fine to voice his opinion, and if he wants to sit and watch me play all day, I mean, I appreciate the view, but you don't come in and start cussing on my channel when I'm saying I've been watching what's going on when you leave and join and leave and join and leave and join and then come on my channel and cuss. What do you expect me to say? You think anybody respects you when you leave and join constantly until you get the bite rate that you want? Otherwise, what are you doing? You expect somebody not to say something about it. You know, Super Dave made a video, a great video on all the people that have double accounts, but what all the but what all the people that are trying to manipulate their bite rate and stuff? It's one thing to reset your game at the start when uh, you know, it feels like you're getting dead like I entirely agree with that, but to leave three and four multiple times after you yeah, you get a trophy and then leave and try to come back and get a uni and uh, you know, what if that's messing up the rest of the server? And that again falls on, on the developers. Why can't you just join a lake 
and not be allowed to leave 14 times? Why can't you just join the lake and not be dead lake? So that's, that's again, on the developers. Why can't the game just function properly? Instead, we're going to worry about adding all the new fighting mechanisms and everything else. Work on your pre-existing issues. That goes straight to the devs. Well, yeah, I know. It's not just Bam. I'm just saying if I'm, I'm streaming and, and he's in my lobby and he's leaving constantly, leaving constantly, leaving constantly. But, yeah, a lot of it's gotten to the point of out of control. So if it's not manipulating bite rate or something, uh, one, how many times can you should you be allowed to leave? Two, why can't the game just function properly and everybody get, you know, an equal bite rate so that crap doesn't happen? That'd be fabulous. Instead, we're going to add a whole new fighting mechanism and everything else when you got all these other issues. Makes no sense. And I'm not cussing at anybody. I may have a tone right now, but it's frustrating. It takes the enjoyment out of it. Oh, he's doing what a lot of the a lot of players do. They'll leave, join, leave, join, leave, join. And then he started cussing here on my channel. I don't need that. Go on Dave's channel and cuss, cuss at him. Go to Bubbles Way's channel and cuss at him and see how, see how he takes it. And I expect to lose a lot in comps. There's a lot of good players, so I, I don't expect to be at the top a ton of times. But I do expect as a paying customer and a person that comes on and wants to enjoy themselves to know that there's not some weird manipulation. If you leave X amount of times, you get a buffed bite rate and somebody else's gets nerfed or whatever the hell is going on with the constant resetting. There's something to it. I got I got one of them, man. I got the trophy. I couldn't get the uni. I know Charger was always saying be back up here in the last seven and a half minutes, so that's where I'm at. Not to mention I'm distracted by Bam. I just hope Charger or one of the RFF guys or Tom or somebody wins this instead of somebody that's going to reset their game 14 times and then expect us to tip their hat at him as he sits at the top of the leaderboard beating his chest because he manipulated the bite rate. No thanks.
Well, yeah, it's not just him, but maybe uh, the devs will actually watch this and say, oh, maybe they are just resetting their game. I mean, if it doesn't mess up the entire lobby. I, I get it when the game feels like it's broke, you reset once, but just to do it over and over uh, in an attempt to some, somehow manipulate the bite rate or whatever the hell's going on, there's something going on. I'm not just going to turn a blind eye to it. How's that fair for the rest of the players? So anybody watching this, if you're sitting in a room and there's somebody constantly leaving, constantly leaving, coming back, and then all of a sudden they just go lights out, I mean, what can you say? Appreciate it, huh? Yep. Good one, experimental. Put it on him, buddy. Cast with this, I'll go to a spinner, I guess. There, get this one out of here. Come on, Uni. Damn.
I don't think it's going to give me the uni. I don't know. I'll probably do a little free fishing. And then later on today at 5 p.m., uh, not too bad, Robert. This one started out decent. This one started out decent when that downhill from there, man. Can't get my respawn over here. I was hoping to get one. I get my uni out of here, but I don't think I'm going to. Got one cast left. Let me try this. Where are you wanting to fish at, man? GG's anyways, boys. But anyways, the RFF at some time today is doing a... Uh, I don't know when it's going to be. They're going to they're trying to put a uh, custom practice together for the uh, salmon, that salmon thing that's coming up here in 4 days. I think for the uh, the Moose Lake qualifier. Yeah, they're going to put that up sometimes today around 5, I think. So I'm going to play in that uh, I'm going to play in this one. I got to go back to work at some point, so I probably won't play it that and play in that one. But I'll play in these two, and then after this one, around 5 o'clock, there's going to be a, uh, hopefully if you can get it put together, that two-hour practice for the uh, for the salmon thing, the trophy salmon there at Moose Lake. So if anybody's interested in that, uh, RFF at 5 p.m. Central Time, I think, is going to put up a uh, Q1 practice. So if there's anybody wanting to participate in that, be looking at your custom comps later. I don't know if it's, I know, it's, I think he's sending it in for approval. Charlie was so if anybody's wanting to practice in that later that will be up Save that recent gameplay for a reason. There we go. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it, Robert. I understand these comps are getting frustrating and some of them are just boring too. Got too many glitches and exploits and all kinds of crap in them I think. Maybe they'll fix them one day hopefully. But hold on one second fellas, I need to clear up some.
Good run, Charger. Good run. Damn good run. I bet he just fished it out, too. I doubt that guy needs to reset his game 100 times. He just plays it. Where are you wanting to fish, Hunt? I got a little bit of time to kill, buddy. <laughs> Lone Star. <laughs> go, go back to the start. I guess the start for me. I guess all you old school guys. Josh was telling me I guess you guys started at Mudwater. Wolf. That must have been brutal. Unless there's anybody on that wants to practice for something else. It doesn't matter to me. I got about an hour to kill, and I got to go back for work for a while. He went back to Lone Star to get... That's funny. Sad but true, I just... I did all my monster missions, uh, Robert, this this winter. I had a bunch of those that I didn't get done, and I just... I uh, just completed that monster mission there. That Mount Eye Buffalo or whatever. I did that, I think, in February, believe it or not. Oh, you started at Lone Star too? Okay, my bad, Josh. I knew so. I knew one of you guys had said that. I didn't realize the. Uh, I guess that was the starting lake back in the day. It was mud water. All right, Sparky. You didn't miss much there, Spark. Charger put up a good score, I think. I had a good run going, but uh, fell apart there at the end. I got a unique Chinook there, Christopher. I did all right. I could have did. I could have got probably 118-ish if I could have got my uh, couple more fish there. But mediocre run for me there at the Salmon Clash. But I had fun. Minus the guy coming in and cussing in my chat. Other than that, it went well. Is there anybody on that wants to practice for anything? Yes, no, maybe so. Is there anything for tomorrow? Oh, that's a good one. Josh, are you on? Triple the trout's on tomorrow. That's a fun one to practice for. Huh? You ever played in that one?
Alright. Alright, I'll practice with Josh. I haven't been playing fish and playing much comps are just Yeah. They've been uh They've been frustrating me too a little bit there, Robert, for sure. I just hope the developers work on some of this stuff. Maybe they will. I'm going to remain optimistic. And hopefully they're fine-tuning that landing mechanism and the new fight mechanism and all that stuff. And hopefully the new map, I'm trying to be on the optimistic side, maybe they'll... Maybe they're working all of it at once. Maybe they'll revamp the uh, the comps in general. Let's hope. Let's hope they do that. All right, I'm going to run a practice uh, triple the trout here with Josh. If anybody else is wanting to join and it's on PlayStation, you're more than uh, welcome to come in and practice this. Ah, uh, my bad, fellas. There we go. They are trying to fix it. You quit going to the test server because of the net. Yeah, I heard an another guy was saying that it was really messed up. So I would assume they'll have it fine-tuned by the time they release it. Let's hope. two guys in here all right boys this is this is on tomorrow so you might as well get a good practice and i'll give about 45 seconds if there's anybody else that's watching on playstation that wants to practice for the triple trout tomorrow give you about 45 seconds to say something in chat okay you're fine berg i can give a minute if you're wanting to set up man Q1 Palm, okay, let me let me look at that. I'll go ahead and get registered real quick too. Let me look here. Okay, and there it is, boys. It actually starts at 4 p.m. Uh, it's the anniversary cup practice. Uh, and you guys that are wanting to join this, Charlie was kind enough to get this set up today. Uh, for anybody that's wanting to practice for the upcoming tournament Q1 and the, uh, the salmon thing. So you guys feel free to... Uh, to join that later on today. It starts at 4 p.m. And that is a that is a long one. I'm pretty sure it's a two-hour event, but uh, 
I just definitely wanted to get a practice in. So if anybody else that's watching the channel wants to get a practice in on this later, uh, RFF was kindly enough to uh, set one up for us and for all the players that are looking to uh, get a little practice in before that thing. That is on PlayStation only. Looks like we got a decent amount, and uh, good luck, guys. Here we go. It's a snowy day, boys. It'll be the slower one, I think. This could be the slower peak, I think. Been killing you lately. You pull everything from the left side and then nothing from the right. I got a couple good runs the last two times I played in it. I didn't used to do that well in it, but I was being stubborn and trying shad and spoons and everything else. But it does definitely uh, going with the uh, the flow here. It does seem to be the bullet spinner for me at least. I'd grown fun of the uh, the jelly shot here on the X Series 4.0 of your choice jig head, but for whatever reason in this comp it doesn't work for me like the bullet spinner does. So I've kind of conformed and gone with the general masses of just sticking with the bullet spinner for the most part. The single, yeah, that was another one I was rotating to. That X-Series 1 and 1 quarter, 4-0, I think it is. 
I know which one you're talking about. That was another one of my favorites too, but for whatever reason, I couldn't. Uh, trying to grub in the jig. trophy yet. Trophy, maybe? I think it's a big trophy. I could change one thing in this game it would be making more baits lures work yeah i know see and that's my problem richard or robert i'm sorry robert i, was, I had the same conversation with richard styles as uh, robert that the uh i get like that too man that's why i was being stubborn and wanting to use the x-series uh jig head with the uh either the glow shad four inch or the three inch jelly shad or that spoon you're talking about it's funny on a lot of those comps, even at some of the tournaments, if you don't, uh, just like in the, uh, what was that pike thing, the Q2 over not too long ago at uh, Sanders be there, you were literally forced to use that hollow spoon. If you didn't use the hollow spoon, you just couldn't get the consistent bite. Yeah, it's a shame that they don't, uh, in other words, you got so many tackles and or so many lures that should work, you shouldn't, uh, you should be able to, fluctuate I, I hate that too when everybody's has to use the same lure he doesn't feel like you're going to do well i do wish they would adjust that okay, there's the spike so one trophy laker trophy spike still looking for unis Oh, also in that musky thing. See, it was weird as that one I actually, I probably should have stuck with the rainbow spinner like everybody else was in that, uh, so many lures. But... So many lures, but yeah, it's well said. You could just have 10, ta 10 lures in your tackle box and they would pretty much catch every fish in a game, I would agree. But in that, that I can't remember what Q, maybe it was Q1, I can't remember. The, uh, the recent, mu there's my spike. The uh, recent uh, musky thing there, I know the common denominator, everybody wanted to use that rainbow spinner, but I think I got a musky on a, uh, I want to say it was a popper. I got one on a mouse and then only one on the spinner. But yeah, I don't feel that you should have to throw the rainbow spinner 6,000 times and have your only chance to, that's just weird. It seems to be happening more and more in tournaments and comps at, it's the one particular lure that you have to use. Even like spin the trout because I haven't got the uh, X series spinner tail or that barbless uh, was that that little barbless nano spinner I've been trying to get. You can make that 3-0 work okay in that, but man, it seems like you're at such a handicap in the spin the trout if you don't have the uh, and that's coming on later today. Oh, the Gollum lure. That's the other one. I, that, I think I might have got that. I, yep, I could have said that wrong. With the X-Series tail. Yep, I think I did say that wrong. I think I might have got one on a Gollum. I might have. 
I know one was a vampire mouse and one I eventually subdued and threw the uh, rainbow spinner a little bit, but I was just looking to have fun. But yeah, it would be great if you could use uh There should be, you would think there should be, you know, three, four, five lures that should work and you should be able to rotate around. Should only be the unique. Should be a unique comment at some point, boys. And I'm gonna be running out of time to get my stuff on the right and get it to respawn. This unique don't come out of here. Can I get the unique from the right if I didn't get it from the left on the Laker? I don't know if I've ever been in this situation. Normally I get the uh, the unique out fairly quick and I'm waiting on trophies, not the unique. I guess it would make more sense to keep throwing to this side because I already got the competition out of the way. It should only be a unique over here. Maybe some commons. No, I got a 36-pound trophy. I got the Splake out of here. Is this him and he's just playing possum? This might be him. Maybe not. What the hell is this? Undersized uni? I'm pretty sure I already got both the... I got the uni Splake. Is that three... Tr Hold on, I gotta look at my own nut, boys. If that was unique, was he... Oh, it was he? Okay. I didn't even catch that. That's funny. I did. Or no, I didn't. Oh, I did. I did. He was just undersized. My bad. Oh, man. That's all right. Worked out anyway, fellas. I thought that was an awful big uh, trophy. I didn't look at that right. That's funny. I was thinking, man, that's a huge trophy. Okay, yeah, I didn't know where the cutoff was. I knew I knew they went in the 30s. I didn't think they went to 36, so I, uh, my mistake, fellas. That's probably a salmon. He bit that at awful high. No. Oh, that was a salmon. The 36 pound uni and 32 pound trophy. Well, at least they didn't give you an undersized trophy and undersized uni, man. Did I get another salmon? Hold on a second. I forgot what I was doing. The last time I was standing here. I was having better luck standing here, casting. Gotta remember that. May not work out the way I wanted it to, but I think I was doing that to stay away from the salmon. Oh yeah, I throw it out the window and yeah. I guess it wouldn't do any good, SG, if you threw it out the window on a one story, uh, or it only fell like five foot. Good point.
Well, that's definitely a weird fist drop there for you, Robert, for sure. Okay, never mind. The salmon still come in. All right, well, I'm going to be two, uh, two trophy Lakers short for sure. I think the same things happened to me, Robert. You were saying get all your stuff from the left and then the right uh, seems slow for sure. Another salmon? No, that's the one I wanted. Spike? There we go. Priority's not going to come back. I had been having good luck on this, getting the uh, the brook trout on this. I'm just gonna let it sink. The last two times I did good in this, too, one of them I took second. It was on the crappy day, and the other one I think I 
want to say I got fifth or sixth. But I was having, I actually had the opposite of that, Robert. I was having good luck on the uh, the brook trout over here, even. Must have just been uh, beginner's luck. I'm not, is that a brook or a. There it is. That was a brook. I think just a common though. Okay, I got him out, so I might as well go for the... I guess it makes the most sense to go for the liker now for a second. Gotta be him, right? I don't think the salmon swim like that at the top. Oh yeah, that's him. Or one of them.
Hey, Richard, how you doing, buddy? We're just practicing some triple trout for tomorrow. How's your day going, man? I don't think I'm going to get the second trophy. I didn't want the Simon boys. All right, a couple more casts here, and I'll rotate back to the left. I did just okay in the Bobber Burr, but kind of went dead on me. And then I did was doing decent in the Salmon thing, or the uh, Salmon Clash. Didn't end up getting my respawns, but. Had fun nonetheless. How you doing, Dutch? Hey, Bobby, how you been, buddy? Points a point, boys. Last try. Man, those broke are... Man, they're almost all the way to the bottom, aren't they? Crazy. Still bugged. Yeah, I, I I know you'd said that, and I watched Super Dave's video on it, and I thought, I guess there was two separate videos. I watched the first one where he was talking about where he thought premium was worth it, and I was like, well, I guess it's just half off. And then, uh, lo and behold, he had another follow-up video where he was correcting himself. I guess it is bugged out, and it's not really on sale. But I guess he was saying it was on every platform. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Uh, I was going to tell you, Bobby, on that, something I wasn't aware of when I first started playing in the comps. If you're doing that big redfish, uh, Bobby, you want to have it, uh, have that, keep that close to the surface. Like, just barely reel it, let it float, work it towards the top if you're trying to get those salmon. In other words, the deeper you go, the more op, the more up you're uh, they're going to pick up the lake trout, and the more shallow you go, close to the surface, uh, you'll have a little better luck than that. And I'm actually sticking with the spinner on this, Bobby, because that's the most uh, productive one. I used to try to fight it and throw a, uh, a jelly shad or various other lures, but for whatever reason, you're pretty much stuck at the. And I've had really good results lately, just sticking with the bullet spinner. So that, that's why I'm throwing this. Just hoping to get a uh, respawn liker or a spike over here. And a reminder, and for anybody else that's tuning in that's on PlayStation, uh, RFF has put together a custom uh, practice uh, for 4 p.m. Central today for the uh, the Q1 that's coming up next, uh, I think, Monday or Tuesday. I've, I haven't pedestaled in that yet, Bobby, but uh, it's definitely a certain kind of a tricky retrieve where you're kind of almost... Practically fishing the uh, the crankbait on that big redfish. You're gonna want that thing near the top Give it a practice sometime and you'll see what I'm saying Yep, I know. I, Me and Sparky both, I know sometimes me and Sparky get critical of fishing planet, and I think we all do at times, but yeah. Topwater crankbait's just weird. Why don't they just make you use a topper or a popper on them? It's supposed to be, I, I get it, trust me. <laughs> me and Sparky's talked about that for about an hour one day. <laughs> oh, couldn't help but do anything but laugh about it. But yeah, I've got the retrieve somewhat down to where I can get 200 points in it most times, depending on the peak. But uh, far away from pedestal and still, but at least I'm finally getting a couple hundred pounds in the damn thing. But yeah, definitely awkward that you have to, a 12 foot crankbait and you're working it uh, one to two foot deep to get them to bite. At that point, I think I'd rather throw a, just top water. Where's my response at, boys? Sorry, guys, practicing along with us here. I knew this was going to be the slower peak. I guess I should have looked at that before I set that template up. So my apologies for the slow fishing, guys. But if anything, it's practice for the slow peak whenever you play in this thing. Yeah, exactly. Well, see, uh, Robert, me, and I think Tom or somebody played in the template one day. And we tried thinking, well, let's just use a mini crank because that makes the most sense. Uh, we got a decent bite out of it, Robert, but we couldn't get any trophies on the, the mini crank. You want a refund on your trophies? <laughs> oh, sorry, Josh.
Uh, if you want to get into it with me on that strangler, my point is I, I've played in this before, and this is way back, I think, before me and Bam was even friends. Uh, what I've noticed is I think it was in Maroon Diversity the very first time, and somebody else had actually brought it to my attention. So I'm not the only one that's complaining about Bam leaving and joining, leaving and joining. It's not that I can't leave and can't join. I've said before, even on my channel, if, if you feel like you're dead late and you leave and then you come back and get in bites, that's one thing. But to do it repetitively and like catch a trophy, uh, make a few casts, reset your game, come back in, go trophy uni, reset your game. I've seen it multiple times. And I've seen it once in a run diversity when I had a lead. I was probably 10, 12 fish ahead of Bam. He came in, caught trophy uni. And th that's even when the, th those don't even matter. It's just a point by point thing. Uh, that that's happened to me before when BAMS did that. And I, I just don't think that it may not be cheating, technically speaking, but if you're trying to manipulate your bite rate, otherwise, why are you leaving constantly when, when you're getting a bite, but you're not getting the bite that you want? So to me, I'm going to frown on it and I'm the type of person that's going to say something about it. Strangler. Yeah, cheap. There you go. So yeah, I'm going to raise my eyebrows and I'm the type of person that's going to be stand up and say something. And I know I'm not the only one that doesn't like that he does that all the time. I'm just the one man enough that's going to uh, stand up and say something about it. So yeah, I'm not looking to get uh, bam banned or anybody else for it. But yeah, it's definitely cheap in my opinion as well, Robert. And if it somehow ends up messing up the lobby because a, a player or two is leaving constantly until they get the bite rate or that upper uh a tier rng or however the game distributes the stuff out yeah definitely gonna say something and somewhere on my playlist generally you can look uh, I actually, before I was streaming or ever started streaming, I was in a lobby with guys and my bite rate was dead. I left, came back, and I think it was the trophy whiskers. I think it was the trophy whiskers, Strangler. I left, came back, and got three unique gilded. But if there's players that's learned how to leave at a certain time, catch a couple fish, come back, leave at a certain time. Yeah, like I said, and if it, if it was up to me and... and uh, my the devs ever listen to this conversation you should be allowed to leave once if if you're having a broken bite rate i get it but if you're trying to do it uh entirely to manipulate your bite rate in general that that's that's definitely wrong I'm not saying it's cheating but it's definitely wrong you should be i mean it's one thing to leave once but to do it over and over and over and it's not just me saying something about it strangler it's not just me Well, yeah, and that, that's on the devs, too. It's not on the players. You've seen me. I, I've chose not to even participate in the uh, the Troy Fest anymore. And, and the times that I was uh, participating with the Troy, it's because everybody else did, and I felt like that's the only chance that I wanted to participate. Uh, but even the last time in the Big Brother, I went and put 3,900 pounds up with a deep runner while everybody else is one pump chumping and flip casting and uh, everything else, all the other nonsense. But, that again, that's not on the players, don't it? It's up to the, the devs to figure out what they think is... Uh, I guess what you'd call authentic or sin. And maybe hopefully with the broken mechanism or the new fighting mechanism, that broken uh, Troy will be a thing of the past. But I, And I know that you can't please everybody, but uh, I just think it's suspect when you when you're, when you got a trophy, he left because he didn't, he caught a couple comments, came right back in, went trophy uni. And I think, I don't know how many times he left, but I mean, if you continually do that, you, you think I'm the only guy scratching his head at it? I'm not. It's more about sportsmanship uh, uh, than it is uh, saying somebody needs banned or, or that they're cheating. It's just uh, you're not going to get any respect out of me for that.
And when I got, I got my buddy here, Josh, that's pretty much almost given up on most of the comps and only plays here and there just because of the result of all the crap. Uh, it's not good for the game in general. And I do appreciate your opinion, Strangle, and thank you for not cussing on my channel like Bam came in and cussed. Did I, did I say, hey, Fish and Planet, Bam should be banned? No, but I said I'm going to call people out when I start seeing that over and over. And he's one on my list that does it over and over. I expect to lose a lot of these things. I'm not claiming to be the best at this game. Not even close. I'm just a guy that's figured out quite a few of them, and I feel like I can score, score well in a lot of them. But if my server ends up messed up because a guy wants to leave constantly and that somehow affects me, uh, I'm going to say something. Well, he just said, uh, I don't appreciate you starting uh, crap, and but he was just cussing. I mean, he didn't go like over the top, but enough where I had to put him in timeout. I seen him enter my room, Richard, and I knew what was going to happen. If he didn't get a start that he wanted, he was going to leave. And he le left once, uh, joined, went, I think, Trophy Uni, left again, and then went on a tear. So he reset his game at least twice. While everybody else, I think, in the room was just fishing what they had. We're having we're having two com two different conversations, and, and you're right. The Detroit is uh, that's on the devs, and I've seen people. You're right. I think I did see Jordan reset the other day, and I want to say he reset, and that's again on the game. I think he reset and came in and got a six nine six nine Pike on Dancing with the Pike and a seven four on one reset. Again, it's on the game more than it is the players, but don't come into my come into my chat and start cussing. But yeah, if you think that I'm not going to be happy when the Troy's gone, I'll be extremely happy, Strangler. Meaty fellas should be more fun. They're definitely not going to put up 25,000 points in meaty fellas without the Troy. Trophy whiskers should be fun. A lot of them will be more fun. Now, some of the shark things are going to be really slow. But at least a lot of people will have the uh, somewhat of an equal chance. But that's a whole other conversation. I never said Bam's the only one that does it. I've seen a lot of people do it, but Bam seems to do it in a manner which he knows exactly when to do it. That's that's the difference, Strangla. And maybe there's there's several that knows when to leave and to join and come back, leave and to join and come back. Well, yeah, and good practice, boys. Good practice. But I, I can tell you, I, I wish I would have recorded that time, Strangler, if you'd have been in, uh, playing in the uh, Maroon Diverse that I was playing in, and this is way back before I, I just barely started playing, and I had one hell of a lead in Maroon Diversity, and it seemed like every time that Bam reset his game, he would catch a few, come back, reset. And he did it like five times. And I'm recanting this as verbatim as it happened. I slowly started getting my, my bite rate seemed nerfed as Bam left, came back, Bam left, left, came back. And that was in the Maroon Diversity. So uh, I'm not saying Bam's not the only guy doing it. There's, there's no way. But... Uh, as fishing planets trying to evolve, uh, you know, they, they need to be aware of, uh, there should be some kind of statute or limitation on how many times a guy can leave a lobby. Cause I mean, basically it's like showing up to a poker table and saying, reshuffle the deck part of the way through. 
Okay, well, I don't have pocket aces this time. Reshuffle them again. I need a pocket pair. Uh, you got to understand that that, that that can't keep continuing like that, can it? I mean, has it always been this way? You know, I, I'm just fresh to uh, playing in these things. I think since around February when I started playing in these, is that the way it's always been? It's just a reset war? Is that how it is? Is that how it's always been? And will that be the way it is uh, the rest of the time? And it is just a video game for crying out loud, but uh, when a guy logs in and just wants to feel like he's going to have fun and have a chance. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Charles. Like I said, and I'm just talking this up, and I know sometimes I get, you know, passionate about what I'm saying, and, you know, I'm not just calling out just BAM, but uh, there's a lot of things Fishing Planet needs to work on, but I would say most would agree that you shouldn't be able to reshuffle the deck constantly. I mean, pl play your hand out. Uh, I'm not saying if, if you're completely dead lake, and you guys know what dead lake feels like. I'm not just talking about getting bad RNG where you're getting small unis. But if you come in and you haven't had a bite in that first five or six minutes, I wholeheartedly say reset because something's off. But it, it, again, not to be a broken record, but if you're doing it in a manner to which uh, you've caught in a few and, and you know you got a good bite rate, but you're not getting what you want, then you reset it again, and then you re reset it again, and then slowly does that mess up the server you're in? I, I don't get it. Because there's something to it or they wouldn't be doing it over and over. But again, on a uh, lighter note, I keep plugging this in, but anybody wanting to practice for this thing later, it's at that four here at Moose Lake for the uh, that upcoming tournament, the Q1. It is, this is two hours. It's going to be a grinder, but anybody looking to get some last-minute practice in, I know we got four days, but uh, RFF's kindly enough to put that together for us. And then I think it, uh, as well as it is for some bait coins for any of those studs out here that are good at this thing. I am not good at it. That's why I want to practice, and I appreciate you guys putting that up. Uh, now, I do have to go back to work for a little bit. I will be back on to play. What's the next thing here? I will be playing in this. Here's another Troy Fest. Is it that big a deal? Probably not, but nope. I'm not going to run a Troy in this, but I'm going to come back. This has not been on for me forever. Could be slow. Uh, this one usually is kind of fun. Definitely uh, climactic moments in this one where you can get a unique and then hopefully get a small one, but this one here is pretty fun. And I will not be uh, using a Troy in that. I know a lot of people will, but that's okay. Uh, and then the spin the trout, and then after that, uh, I think 4 o'clock will be the uh, the custom comp there for the Q, Q1 practice. So I'll be back here in about an hour, guys, and I'll get set up for this one here. I'm not going to play in this one. I might do some free fishing uh, leading up into that, but I am not playing in this thing. It's so boring, but uh, good luck for anybody that is. I know I do would love to get the uh, X-Series Crayfish at some point. I just cannot get any luck in this one, and I got uh, prior obligations. So I'll be back here in an hour or so, boys. Appreciate you guys tuning in, and then try not to make things over personal like i said i'm not just only singling out bam but uh he's the one that's on the forefront because he seems to be in my lobby constantly doing it all the time so if i end up in his lobby and he's doing it to me constantly i have no other choice but to say something so again it's not saying somebody's cheating or wanting them banned it's just me uh saying i don't like it i don't like you reshuffling the deck constantly don't reshuffle the deck in my lobby Go reshuffle it in somebody else's. Or preferably, you just play it out and uh, take your losses. If you're not getting the fish bite that you want, it's one thing to reset it once. Uh, don't do it twice, three times, four times, until you end up on the leaderboard and then expect everybody beneath you say, Oh, great run, dude. Not really, because you reshuffled the deck a thousand times. So... You guys take care. Thanks, Bergy, and uh, we'll see you guys here in an hour or so. Everybody else, on a lighter note, let's just have a good Friday afternoon. Hope everybody has a good weekend, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day if you don't tune back in, but I will be back here in around an hour.